So let's continue with the bit manipulation playlist. But before that, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So the problem that we will be solving today is minimum bit flips to convert a number. So what is the problem exactly stating? It is stating that it will be given a start, which is basically a positive integer, positive integer. And it will be given a goal. Again, it's a positive integer, including zero. It cannot be a negative integer. And your task is to figure out how many bits do you need to flip in order to make the start into goal? So if I try to write the bit, like the binary of 10, it is 8 plus 2, so that's 1, 0, 1, 0. If I try to write the binary of 7, that is 1, 1, 1. And if I try to write it in terms of 4 bits, that's 0, 1, 1, 1, right? Let's see the number of bits I need to change. change this one and this one okay that's one this I don't need to change because it is still the same this one I have to change so that's two this one I'll have to change that is three so in total I have to change three bits okay so let's look at one more example start is three which is one one two plus one and the goal is 4. 4 is basically 1, 0, 0. So 3 bits, maybe let's try to write 3 bits because everything to the left of it will be zeros. This one, yes, I need to change. So 1 bit. This one, yes, I need to change. One more. So that's 2. This one, I need to change. That's 3. So in total, I'll have to change 3 bits or rather flip 3 bits in the start because I have to make this one to be 0, this 1 to be 0, this 0 to be 1. If I do this, then I'll get the goal. Got it? Similarly, in the first example, if I make the 0 to be 1, the 1 to be 0, or rather I'll keep the 0 as 0. Sorry, keep the 1 as 1. I'll take the 0 and convert it into 1, and I'll take the 0 and this, so I'll get this number. Flip. How do I solve it? That's very, very simple. Let's take the first example, 10 and 7. So if I take 10, which is 1, 0, 1, 0. And if I take 7, which is 1, 1, 1. Now if I ask you which operator works on different bits. Zor, yes. Because AND is operator, it will only work when it's 1 and 1. Or if either of them is 1, it will give you 1. So it won't help you differentiate, right? Because if both of them are 1s, or also gives one, so it doesn't help you to differentiate. As or is something which is going to tell you that this position is different because when you do a or of zero and one, you actually get a one. But when you do a or of one and one, which is basically same bits, you get zero. Again, if you do a or of zero and one, you get one. Again, if you do a or of one and zero, you get one. So if you carefully observe, if you do a or of the start. And the goal and the result that you will get will always have ones in the bit indexes which needs, needs to be flipped, which needs to be flipped. Agreed? So the first step will be maybe I'll say answer start zor of goal. So what will happen is at least my answer will have a number which has the bit indexes as 1, which needs to be flipped, which needs to be flipped. Now the question is, how many flips? Can I say the number of set bits? Can I say the number of set bits in the answer is your answer? The number of 1s in, the, in this value is your answer. So just count the number of set bits. I've already done this. It's super simple, you have to just travels and keep checking every bit. So what I can do is, right after this, I can start from the 0th bit, I can go to the 31st, because it is mentioned that it is an integer. And what I can do is, I can probably say, count equal to 0, and I can say if this answer, and one left shift of i, because this is how you can easily check if the ith bit is set or not. If this bit is set, if this bit is set, if this bit is set, if this bit is set. You can easily do with this one. I've already done it, so I'll not get into the depth. Count plus one. 
and done and dusted. So what will be the time complexity? Very simple, B go of 31 will be your time complexity. And if you want to optimize this 31, there's no need to go till 31. There's no need to go till 31. Whatever is this value, what is this value? The value is 1101, which is 84113. It's our favorite number in this particular playlist. You can straight away start taking 13 divided by 2. There's a remainder of 1. So your count will be 1, 6, right? Again divided by 2, the remainder is 0. So the count doesn't increase. Again divided by 2, the remainder is 1. So the count increases. And after that, there's a 1. So if you divide it by 2, the remainder is still 1. So the count increases and eventually it is 0. So this is where you stop. So if you try to divide it by 2, the time complexity will be logarithmic base 2 of start zor goal. Whatever is the value, in this case it was 13, logarithmic base 2. Not exactly 31 bits because I'm not traversing for each and every bit. What I'm doing is, if it is having 4 bits, I'll just traverse till 4 bits because I know all the left ones will be 0. So that's why I'm dividing the moment I reach 0, I stop then and there. So this will be your code and this will be your time complexity. The space complexity is definitely B go of 1. So I hope you have understood everything. And if that is the case, please, please do consider giving us a like. And if you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing to us as well. With this, I'll be wrapping up this video. Let's experience our other video. Tell them bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken.